Hello everyone, this is uh, Steve. Again, um, I had a customer that wanted, told me he wanted five liters a minute from a hydrogen generator, so I threw this together. This is uh, a 46 plate unit. It's based on the same design as a 16 plate. Just a bigger stack. stack. And what we've done is we've got two input ports here at the bottom now, two output ports, and we've got five positives and five negatives. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and see if we can get five liters a minute out of it and be efficient while we're doing it. Um, I've mixed a electrolyte of one teaspoon of NaOH and two liters of distilled water. I'm going to put that in there and uh, also I finally now have uh, adequate testing equipment. Um, this Astron power supply is a uh, 70, 70 amp unit. Um, and I can control my voltage um, up to 15 volts so I can uh, put it at 13.8 13.9 just like what's happening in a car or truck and um, see exactly what's going to happen to the cell so the battery charger and batteries are gone and we'll be using this power supply and hopefully we'll be getting some better um, better uh, consistent numbers off of uh, off of this uh, power supply okay I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and uh, I have not had this on yet and uh, I like to do this this way so you'll see it here first um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, electrolyte in and uh, be right back. Okay, I got the reservoir full. Um, the unit is full now. We've let it go ahead and fill up. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it on and see how this performs. Okay, set it up about 13.8 about. Looks like it is drawing, and it's going up now. We're about 30 amps, passing 30. Looks like it's settling around. 33, 34 amps. And there is a ton of production going on here. Um, we'll take a measurement on this just a little bit later. I wanted to tell everyone about my cells. Each one of my cells is uh, put together with high grade stainless steel. Um, the end caps are high temp UPDE and uh, the gaskets are made out of EPDM. There's 46 plates in this unit. Um, all my units I uh, use stainless steel bolts to bind the unit together. That's for corrosion reasons. If you have this in your car, you use any, any mild grade steel, um, you're going to have some corroding problems. So we use stainless steel bolts. In here, for the power contact, we normally will use a brass bolt so that, uh, again, so it won't corrode um, and always have a good connection. On this unit here, um, didn't have any uh, any brass bolts, so we used a steel one just for the test. Each one of these plates is laser cut, laser drilled. Um, they're precision. There's no warping in them when they do that. These plates don't get hot. They're not stamped out. Um, the gasket material is of high quality, um, high temp gasket material. And this unit here, um, the normal 
16 plate units that I build. They don't they don't heat up the water like some of the water bath cells. And also uh, uh, that keeps the uh, the whole system running cooler and uh, um, makes so there isn't uh, any problems with that, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of people have been watching my videos. Um, you know that I've been uh, searching for a winter electrolyte solution and I, I do have that now. I haven't done a video on it but I'll, I want to tell everyone that uh, sodium hydroxide seem to be the answer for uh, winter, elect winter electrolyte. Um, the problem with sodium hydroxide is you have to put a lot of it in your electrolyte solution to get it not to freeze. So that would just, that would draw way too many amps for most of us in our system. So what I added to it to bring the amps down and also to add uh, a little bit more freeze protection is uh, use some pure ethylene glycol. Nethylene glycol, so this is what I'm using. Um, I got this uh, off the internet. I couldn't find it um, locally, but uh, um, it's kind of staying there. But if you can make out the label, you can uh, do a search online to buy some of this. Um, what I did was I mixed my normal two liters of distilled. I put three teaspoons of uh, NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and I put five teaspoons of ethylene glycol. <clears throat> what it did is uh, the three teaspoons of NaOH uh, were they were making the uh, the 13 plate or the 16 plate dry cell run at about 40 amps, which is way way too much for the cell. And what I did is I added the ethylene glycol to it and it brought the amps back down to around 20 where I like to run the unit. Um, um, run the unit in my car for a week. Uh, things things look great. Um, we didn't have a lot of freezing around here so I uh, took the solution out and I put it uh, put it in the freezer and uh, came back about eight hours later. Um, the solution was uh, starting to slush up a little bit um, but the good thing is uh, the temperature of it was uh, right around right around 15 degrees, and uh, but the temperature inside the uh, freezer was neg is negative five degrees. So it, not only um, is it protecting against freezing, um, it takes a very long time for it to to uh, drop in temperature. So um, I hope I hope that helps everybody. Um, um, I hope that this uh, that's a good contribution to the community um, I will do a video on it um, but yeah ethylene glycol and sodium hydroxide working great as a winter electrolyte probably gets you down to about zero to five degrees um, during uh, this winter and um, the solution makes great hydrogen um, I did have some help um, from a one of my uh, customers did tell me about ethylene glycol. Um, I did a search and got this and I, I tried, I used his suggestion and it did work. I wanted to give him credit for that. His name is Igor. Um, Alright, so let's see. We've got this thing producing away. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set up the tester and we'll see what we've got here. Okay, I don't know if everyone can see this, but uh, let's get a little closer here. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. I'm going to time it. Stopwatch. See what we've got. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. seconds. Okay, it took 15 seconds to make one liter gas. 
to me 